All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at designing a fidget spinner in Tinkercad. So once you've created an account at Tinkercad and gotten the code from your teacher to get your account activated, you should be able to uh, be logged in here with your Google account or however you created it. And we have a work plane here. We can use the right mouse button to kind of rotate it around, the middle mouse button to move it around, and then of course the left mouse button for selecting things. We're going to need to do some measurements so let's drop a ruler on here first of all to get started. So now we have a ruler and let's say we want our fidget spinner to start off as kind of a box. Let's do it like that and we have a box in there that we can resize either by dragging or by actually typing some numbers bearings are seven millimeters tall so we'll make our fidget spinner seven millimeters tall and 20 by 20 that might be a little small let's make that a little bigger let's say 50 by 50 and these are all in millimeters so there is a rectangle that will be the start of our fidget spinner we need to put a hole in the middle for the bearing so we're going to take this whole cylinder and the bearing outer diameter is 22 millimeters so we need to go 22 millimeters. And <clears throat> if we look, that's just resting on the same plane as the box. So we want to actually move that down a little bit. So with that selected, we're going to hold the control key and press the down arrow. So that just to make sure that hole is cutting all the way through this, this rectangle part. Now, this is where a little bit of math comes in. Let's move this so that it's right at the zero, zero point on the axis. Uh, so zero here and zero here. And we want the middle of this then to be in the middle of our rectangle. So we could sort of try to approximate it, but it's easier to, it's better to actually do uh, some calculations here. So we know if this is 50 across that <clears throat> the uh, the middle point of that is 25 so uh, 22 half of that is 11 and 13 adds up to 24 so we want this to be 14 and then that'll be in the middle and see this one here is 14 as well uh, so that means it's 14 to the edge of this cylinder and then another 11 to the middle of it so it's in the uh, the middle of this is 25 away from each edge uh, and the middle of this is 25 of e from each edge and so now these two things uh, are well now that cylinder is in the middle of it so it sounded more complicated than it w actually was but uh, that's how we get going so now let's group those together with this button up here and we can see there's the start of our fidget spinner and then we can add some other fancy stuff to it we can also if we wanted to make some changes to it we could maybe ungroup it and bevel these edges or some other things that are possibilities or we could take a heart and add a heart right in here and change the dimensions of that heart so that it's the same height and don't worry about the colors because it's all going to print in just one color of plastic but uh, so maybe we'll change that just to remind us that it is red like that and let's duplicate that we can probably go control C and then control V <clears throat> that gives us a heart over here we see there's a, uh, a spin thing there we can rotate it 90 degrees and then overlap it in there and we'll paste another one of those in rotate it 90 degrees down to the bottom and you're all thinking wait that's not symmetrical it's not going to spin right uh, you are correct we'll have to uh, do a little more math probably there to uh, make sure that these are all lined up right in the middle or we could probably draw a line somehow um, maybe with a connector I'm not sure something to explore no that's not going to work Anyway, you can figure out maybe how to draw a line through the middle of this and then line up the hearts with that line, the middle of the heart with the middle of that line. 
something like that you can probably figure out. But at any rate, that's the basics of designing a fidget spinner here. Oh, look, there's lines on the, the grid underneath. You could probably use those for lining things up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's the basics for designing a fidget spinner. Uh, and uh, hopefully that's enough to get you started. Talk to your teacher or talk to me if you have any questions or comments.